You just got home from work. You open the mailbox like any other day, except today you have a letter from the IRS. Or even worse, the mailman has you sign for a certified letter. You're like, am I being audited? Am I going to jail? Do I owe a boatload of money? Over the years, I can't tell you how many clients have come into my office with a stack of unopened IRS mail. They have letters and notices that have come to their, to their home or their place of business over a long period of time, and none of them have been opened. So my goal for today's uh, series of videos is to, one, help you understand some of the more popular notices and letters that you might receive from the Eternal Revenue Service, and two, to help you understand why it's important for you to open those letters and read them as soon as they arrive. I just got a letter from the IRS. That's the topic of today's series of videos on the other side of the intro. What's up, you guys? I'm Corey Hankerson from Legacy Tax and Financial Planning, a.k.a. The Levy King. IRS took your check. Call The Levy King. I'll get it back. 877-LEVY-KING, levyking.com. I'm also the author of End the Tax Nightmare, Insider Secrets to Beat the IRS and Reduce Your Tax Debt. And I want to give you a copy of my book for free. I want you to go over to endthetaxnightmare.com. Uh, plug in your name, your email address. You can download a copy of the book for free. Inside the book, you're going to learn how to release IRS liens and levies, how to establish the payment plan that you want, not the one that they want, and how you can potentially settle your tax debt for less than you actually owe. Just jump on over to endthetaxnightmare.com, plug in your name and email address. You can download the book for free. Before we dive into today's video, if you haven't already done so, I want you guys to follow us on social. We're on Facebook. You can also find me on Instagram at Ice Cold Tax Pro. And of course, right here on YouTube. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel. Also hit that like button and that notification bell so YouTube will let you know each and every time we drop a new video. Okay, so you just got a letter from the IRS. You're like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Okay, so one of the most common notices that you'll receive when you owe back taxes from the IRS is the CP14, Notice of Balance Due. This is the first in a series of notices that you'll receive uh, right when you enter into, you're on the threshold of really getting uh, deep into the collections process. You're still very early in the process. If you can afford to, to pay the balance off, I would really recommend you just, just pay the balance at this point. Because now you're still early in the process. They haven't hit you with a lot of penalties and interest. Um, you know, they haven't really uh, started coming after you aggressively at this point in time. So if you can afford to pay, you should really um, do that. The CP 504 Notice of Intent to Levy is the IRS informing you that it intends to levy or take your state tax refund to offset any federal income tax balances that you may owe, right? So in other words, if you if you do a refund from the from the state or um, you know from the federal government, even they intend to take your refund in order to satisfy the money that you owe to the IRS. The LT11, the notice of intent to levy and notice of your right to a hearing, lets you know that the IRS intends to levy or garnish your wages, okay? The IRS uses the term uh, levy, whereas most other creditors use the term garnishment. For all intents and purposes, they are the same thing, okay? So the IRS intends to garnish your wages in order to satisfy the tax debt that you owe. If you haven't been taking this seriously so far, if you if you ignored everything else, um, you really wanna start taking this seriously because when you start getting levy notices, things are about to heat up, okay? So the IRS can take your property, uh, which includes wages and other income. I'm just going to read it straight from the code. Wages and other income, bank accounts, bank assets, personal assets, including your car and your home, and even your social security benefits. If you receive this notice, you need to hire a professional to represent you. 
You can call the IRS to set up a payment plan if you want to, or file an appeal to contest the IRS co collections actions. But if you don't do anything, you should expect to be levied within a very short period of time. So another notice that, that you might receive is the CP91, which is the intent to seize your social security benefits. If you owe back taxes and you also receive social security benefits, the IRS can levy or take uh, up to 15% of your social security benefits to satisfy your IRS balance. Now, if you also receive other income, like maybe you had a 401k on your job, maybe you have an IRA, you have a pension, you have some disability benefits, if you have another source of income besides Social Security, the IRS can levy up to 85% of your Social Security benefits. So that, that's, a, that's a lot, man. So the IRS, they, they, can, they have the authority, the ability to take a very large chunk of your Social Security retirement benefits and obviously it's not difficult for them to do it's coming from the federal government so that, you know they'll they'll be able to do that immediately if you get a cp91 you need to act on it quickly the reason being is that with a typical wage levy from a, a normal uh, wage earner let's say you work for just a private company out there somewhere we can typically have a levy released in a matter of days okay with a cp91 it has to go through not only the irs but also through the Social Security Administration. If you think that working with one government entity is difficult, working with two is a nightmare. Getting them to coordinate, um, re releasing the levy and how much they should release is very difficult and time consuming. It can take up to 45 days to have the levy released, which means that several of your paychecks could potentially uh, be impacted by the levy. Right? So if you get a CP91, you need to take action quickly. Don't delay. Don't ignore it. Next up is the LT-1058. Final notice of intent to levy. When you get one of these, it's about to go down. I mean, the IRS is about to bring the hammer down, right? With one of their most potent uh, tools in their arsenal of collecting tax liability is the, the wage levy, right? The, 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 the bank levy. Um, when you receive this, it's the final notice of intent to levy. So you will not likely receive any other types of notices or warnings from the Internal Revenue Service before they uh, levy your bank account, levy your wages, seize your property, or all of the above, okay? Um, so you receive one of these bad boys, you, you really want to uh, begin to take action right away. Do not delay don't ignore it and think that they'll they'll just forget because the next thing will happen, you'll be calling a tax pro like myself to try and get the levy released. And again, like we said previously, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So if we can get involved in your case, the earlier, the better. Okay. And also remember, the IRS, the Internal Revenue Service, is the only creditor out there that has the ability to garnish your wages without first taking you to court and getting a judgment um, and then after that getting a, a, a wage garnishment signed by a judge. You know, if you owed money to Visa or MasterCard and they wanted to garnish your wages, first they'd have to sue you, they'd have to get a judgment, then they'd have to go back into court and have a judge sign off on a wage garnishment order, right? The IRS doesn't have to do any of that. They simply have to send you a letter saying that they're going to uh, garnish your wages. It will come by certified mail. You will know that it is your final notice. It does tell you that you have 90 days uh, to appeal to the United States Tax Court. But they don't have to take you into court and get a get a garnishment and judgment against you, right? So they have the ability to do that um, on their own merit, right? So that's one thing you should you should be advised of. If you get this notice, please take it seriously, right? Don't don't ignore it. If you're receiving a bunch of um, IRS notices and letters, particularly if you're receiving certified notices or letters, um, and you find them confusing, you're not quite sure what the deal is, or maybe you feel overwhelmed or intimidated in dealing with the situation, um, you really need to either just you know get up the get up the nerve to jump on the phone and call the IRS and work out a resolution to your situation or hire a tax professional such as myself or one of the others out there to help you resolve your case. It's not going to go away on its own. And one of the biggest mistakes you can make is ignoring the, the numerous letters that the IRS is sending you. 
If you have a complicated situation, you probably really do need to hire a tax professional to help you uh, resolve your situation. Like the folks here at Legacy Tax, right? Um, give us a call and we'll help you with your situation. We work with the IRS every single day. We are um, familiar with the Internal Revenue Code and the, the, the uh, rules and regulations that surround IRS collections and the IRS procedures, right? So we can help you and use that knowledge and experience to defend you and make sure that you don't pay any more than you absolutely have to pay, right? You can reach us at 888-888. 